Hi there everyone. Today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial. Uh, I've been doing some texturing uh, in Blender and I came across a little bit of an issue that I wanted to fix um, in Photoshop. It, it's pretty easy to fix but inside of GIMP it's um, there's a little bit of a workaround. So um, if we go into the channels here, you'll see that we only got the red, green, and blue channel. There's no alpha channel here. And inside of Blender, if I open up Eevee here, I have an opacity map for these, these glasses here. And there's no, uh, alpha channel inside of my texture. So I need to add an alpha channel to it. So if we come back here inside of GIMP. I will show you a quick little way to go ahead and do that. I learned this uh, from a long time ago. I've seen a tutorial on it a long, long time ago, and I've been doing it this way ever since. So if anybody knows an easier way, uh, please feel free to leave leave it down in the comments below. I'm always more interested in easier. Anyways, all right. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and duplicate this layer here. Uh, I'm going to right click on this layer and I'm going to add a layer mask uh, on this layer mask. I'm going to do a grayscale copy of the layer. This is pretty important and I'm going to click on add on the first layer here. I'm going to right click add layer mask and then we're going to go ahead and do white full opacity here. And if you notice here, you'll see that if you got the mask selected, it gets bigger in the layer here or if you just got the image itself selected it gets bigger so you know which one you're selecting so we're gonna come up here to this top layer and we are gonna make sure that we're selected on the uh, layer mask here and then we're gonna press control A to select everything and then we're gonna press control C to copy everything and then we are going to come back down to the bottom here and we are going to make sure we're select on the bottom layers layer mask and we're going to press control V to paste that into the layer mask there. You'll see that it ends up being a floating layer. All we need to do is come down here and click on the little anchor at the bottom down here in the layers panel. And now it's anchored there. We do not need this top layer here anymore. So we could go ahead and just delete that layer. Now, You'll still see that if we come over here, we still have the red, green, and blue channel, and there's no alpha channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this layer, and we are going to apply the layer mask. And once we apply the layer mask, you'll see that it added that layer mask to an alpha channel, and that's exactly what we need. So that's all we need to do here. Now all we need to do is go to File, uh, Export As, and then export this as whatever we'd like. Uh, I'm going to rename this four because I got a few different ones of them and export it, export it. This is a big uh, image texture here, 4096, so 4K texture. And then we just come back over here into, uh, this is Blender 2.8. So I've been playing around with Eevee. Uh, I could go ahead and actually, no, we'll just stay here because it's, it's the same concept. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my textures here and find the one that we just made. And I'm just going to drag and drop that into the node editor here. And this isn't really a blender tutorial. I just, I wanted to show you a quick way to do this inside of GIMP. Um, but I will go ahead and let you guys know a little bit what I'm doing here. So we have the glasses here and inside the glass of course we have glass, right? So I have a glass shader here. And we need transparency so i'm adding transparency to it so i got a transparent node and i'm sticking that into a mix shader and what we need is the alpha from our opacity layer here to go into to the factor here so it takes the black and white and it masks out that opacity for us in the factor here and then all i'm doing is i duplicated the mass shader and added it up here and then I added the alpha to this mix shader also. Uh, and then I'm coming here into my principled shader. And I am mixing it with the factor from my, my opacity mask here. So, and that's all you need to do. And you just drag your alpha channel out into the factor here, into the factor here. And then that's all you need to do. And that's pretty much it. 
Uh, let's see. Here, I'll turn on Eevee real quick. And I'll show you what I mean. So sometimes uh, Eevee's still you know, a work in progress. So sometimes you get this. I'll turn on the overlays here and show you that I'm selected on the glasses. All you need to do, or all I do anyways, I just press G real quick and then I right click. And that's all that needs to be done. And I turn the overlays back off. And now you'll see here, if we come into the glasses, you'll see that I have some opacity inside of these glasses. Uh, this is still a work in progress pro uh, project here, so it's not looking the greatest just as of yet, but it will be. I'm going to be doing a video on Blender Eevee here uh, sometime in the near future. If anybody's interested with that, Eevee's got some some really nice features that I'm going to go into. But that's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, if anybody didn't know how to get in the alpha into their image, that's how you go ahead and do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Please like, subscribe for tons more tutorials, and have a great day. Thank you.